I think says your stream, so I need to start. I think your stream still says web phishing too, so. Yeah. And I assume you're not phishing webs today. <laughs> Press any button. Where's the any button? Where's the any key? Immediately gets thrown down a flight of stairs. <laughs> well, no wonder you're not feeling well. <laughs> Hello, chat. How are you this evening? Howard Hughes this evening. Chat already asking about the Absol form. <laughs> the Absol form. Hello, Burb. You're late. And you disappeared. <laughs> hmm. A Burb is never late. Nor is he early. He always back. appears whenever he means to. <laughs> Okay, uh -huh. chat, you can have it, but it's beta Absol from behind. I mean, I'll take Absol from behind. Ba -da 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 -da. Jonas is raiding. Who's that? Jonas? With a oh, party yeah. of 25? That's almost 26! Almost. Jonas was drawing spooky things. Hello, Jonas and various raccoons. He was drawing spooky things. He's like, my name's Jonas, and I'm gonna be the spooky spookums. That's what he said. It's true, I heard him. It's all in this pamphlet. He did, in fact, say he was going to be the spooky spookums. Hello, Ray. Hello. Ray, are you also going to be the spooky spookums? I haven't decided yet. Oh, why not? Gosh. I learned a Gibdo Echo. Okay, there we go. Wow, audio is being a real beautiful today. It does that sometimes. Mm-hmm. Oh, I see you. <laughs> Ears yes, turns Rick into a mouse. Not a biased choice for sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's not biased. Based. Hello, chat. <laughs> Based Welcome and biased are basically the same thing. Were you also enjoying Jonas's uh, monster drawings? The spooky spookums! Mm -hmm. spooky I sure you able, were you able to check it out? I, I was watching, I was not listening, because uh, I'm currently web fishing with Crystal and Dragon and Ty. How dare you? Ty is ranked 31. It's absurd. Um, <laughs> and I joined the web fishing, actually. Uh, you'd have to talk to uh, Crystal or Ty or Dragon. <laughs> Don't ask me, I just work here. Well, you are neither... You are none of those three people I mentioned, so... <laughs> or am I? No. Uh, okay. Huh, thank God we got that straightened out. <laughs> been having such an identity crisis. Yours is also fishing. Lego Tron mentions mouthwashing. Mm -hmm. I keep seeing everyone talk about it everywhere suddenly, and it got me wanting to try it. Wow. Yeah, it's the um that? it's it's a game about um basically it's a <laughs> horror game. Uh the concept is uh you're a spaceship um out in space as opposed to anywhere else a spaceship would be, I guess. And you're delivering what you're told is like some kind of precious uh precious cargo uh which turns out to be just uh like a metric fuck ton of fucking mouthwash and um then uh shit goes wrong and uh 
you're you get like stranded and everyone's like well just guess like uh looks like we're just gonna die here in the uh void of space uh with a cargo full of mouthwash that tracks and so it's it's kind of like uh an an absurdist nightmare uh horror thing with uh i am told some very triggering themes in it so uh proceed with caution <laughs> Hmm. Rick, can you just, like, pull it to the other platform? I guess I could. I'm gonna try something. You could. But why uh, would you want to when there are far more interesting solutions? It's just the little guy. <laughs> it is just the little guy. He's not gonna dig or anything. Can they be murderized? Dalian Ward says mouthwashing is upsetting. I love it. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of how my uh, that's kind of how I've been uh, enjoying my uh, lovely relationship with Silent Hill Two, which I will probably be streaming after Rick is done. Maybe, possibly, unless I don't. But it's more likely that I will that I won't. But there's always the possibility that I won't, unless I do. In which case, it'll happen. But Dangerous if it doesn't thickness. happen, if it doesn't happen, then I won't do it. But what if you do do it, and it doesn't happen? Then we have created a paradox. But what would you do? Uh, something else. Like what? Uh... I don't know, probably that. Understandable. Another I've heard of, and it seems to be free on Steam, is how to make a fish. Uh, well, I mean, when you a mama start fish with and two a... fish. I was gonna say, when a mama <laughs> fish and a daddy fish love each other very much... Um, how that no, when a mama fish and a daddy fish are in season, you grab the daddy fish and you squeeze them into the breeding tank. Basically. And who says romance is dead? Um... <laughs> Legotron asks, Stoker, have you decided what you'll stream after Silent Hill 2? Well, uh, I was just reminded today that Clock Tower has released. Uh, oh, yeah. So, that's fun. I've always wanted to play that. Keep, I'm, keep wondering what the hell are all these noises I'm hearing. It's fucking Discord has added, like, spooky <laughs> noises to everything. Yes, it has. Yeah, Isn't it great? Aha. Uh -huh. That was a weird what? How do you, you turn change that off? them? I don't think you can. I would you want to? Because they were making noises when I didn't want them to make noises. It's less what noise they were making and that they were making noise at all. Well, someone's just a big ol' Halloween Grinch, aren't they? That's a thought. Yeah. Halloween Grinch. <laughs> really? Ty yeah, says, Ty claims you can just turn it off. And, uh, you know, he's probably oh. right. I trust Ty. So. Not that Ty, the other Ty. I'm confused. There are many Ties. I also trust that Ty. As you should. He's a trustworthy fellow. Which one is mine. yours? He's a trustworthy fellow. In fact, one might even go so far as to say he has nothing to hide. Wink. You like my rendition of This is Halloween? I am the one hiding under your bed. 
No, wait, that's the stare monster voice. Stare monster sounds like it should be a uh, an exercise uh, machine, doesn't it? <laughs> stare monster? Uh, yeah, think bit. about it. I can see that. Because you're thinking of stare master. Yeah, but they, 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 they doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be a master. It can be a monster. Yeah. No yeah. masters or slaves, only man. And oh. as we all know, man is the true monster. That's true. Mm -hmm. I checked it in the uh, 5e monster manual. I mean, you can't even say monster manual without man. It's true. Just try it. Monster, you will. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see, it doesn't work. See, you didn't say monster manual. You said monster, you will. Yeah, well, you know what? The monsters monster are Christmas. feeling kind of festive. <laughs> Jonah says monster mashual. Yeah, uh, that's the uh, that's the Smasher Pass version. I mean, we do just call the monster manual the husband catalog. <laughs> How could anyone me? Jonas, what are you doing in chat? Get in here. Get in here and take your shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, if you keep this up, I'm gonna have to call HR. <laughs> uh oh. If Stoker's threatening you with HR, you know you've gone too far. <laughs> so, that means keep going. <laughs> Get in here and take your shirt off. Yeah. He says Jonas he needs some break. time. <laughs> yeah. After all, he's been streaming. He's been making little raccoon noises. He's like, I'm a little raccoon. That's what he sounds uh -huh. like. When yeah, you better enjoy those now because he's going to be charging for him soon. <laughs> he should be charging for his raccoon noises. Don't do anything you're good at for free. Don't, Don't do anything, do anything you're good at. <laughs> that too. <laughs> yes, always hide your power level. <laughs> mm. Mm. Nah. Melody says, well, how does so much happen whenever I take a three-hour nap? A three-hour three nap. nap. The weather started getting rough. No one told you to stop. The tiny pup was tossed. If not for if the not courage of the fearless chat, the stream would have been lost. The stream would have been lost. lost. The stream, the stream would have been, been lost. lost. What's Pace happening? Boots. <laughs> Space don't, boots. Don't question anything, Ray. Just go with it. <laughs> the ship ran aground on the shore of this uncharted desert. Oh no, those are the real lyrics. Am I getting Mandela affected here? Yes. Or maybe you're being gaslit. I Mandela don't know. Mandela gaslighting, yes. Mandela gaslighting? <laughs> the latest craze. You know you've heard of it before. <laughs> Silver Spotlight says Mandela Effect is literally just gaslighting yourself anyway. No, the Mandela Effect is about being in an alternate universe. Everybody knows that. We all know that those goddamn bears. Ah, uh, the Baron Steen bears. bears, not Baron Stain bears. We all know that that is how it was spelled originally. We all know it. <laughs> and if anyone tells you otherwise, then they are the real monster. <laughs> they are the government drone. Trust me, That's from right. one drone to another, I know when I see a government drone. That's right. You can always and trust Miller to point out another government drone. Exactly. 
And you can trust me similarly because I drone on and on all the time. It's true, we can't get him to stop. <laughs> and you'll never, ever get me to stop. <laughs> Jonas says they had to change it because the bears became too powerful. Well, that's just an unbearable thought now, isn't it? I'll give that a two. That is a very generous score. All things considered. Gear says, How was your day at the gaslighting factory, honey? I told you before I don't work there. Honey, I told you about bringing your work home with you. Hmm. Grape. Hmm, grape. Grape from house pets? Yes. Grape peep nut butter sandwich? Also, yes. Grape and peanut butter in a sandwich? Wait, I also, mean, yes. <laughs> listen. You were listen. almost a Jill sandwich. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Ryrus says snake. peanut butter. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. You know, I hate to say this, but we might be silly people. <laughs> no. I, I don't know why you would think that, Stoker. You know, I don't either. It's a fucking mystery. You're absolutely right. It's impossible. It's completely not a thing, and I need you to stop pretending like it is. It's just not physically possible for us to be <laughs> silly. We've gone over this before. Man, this mole is Not strong. scientifically possible! Great. None of us have ever a sillied. Dicky dicky. You said it, Ray. I came here to have a calm and measured time. And what is this? Whimsical silliness? What is going on? It's a good question. Wish I could tell you. I can't tell anyone nothing right. after the war. I thought it was because your lawyers were <laughs> advising you not <laughs> to tell people things. Well, you mean uh my I mean my lawyers are guilty of war crimes, so <laughs> Hmm. What sorts of war crimes? Are they sort the same sorts that Miller commits? My lawyers have advised me not to say. <laughs> Your lawyers, aka the Hague Council. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Where are we talking about again? <laughs> oh, war, yeah, crimes. war crimes. <laughs> oh yeah. You're fun. Don't try this at home, kids. Actually, I'd be very curious how you could try this at home, kids. Oh, you could definitely <laughs> try this at home. Just make a video game that has a red cross in it, and there you go, you've committed a war crime. Oh, yeah, that's a thing, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Nice job. Which many people have been like, wait, no, that's dumb, because that's how you communicate to kids with the red cross means. So cute. Yeah, well, you know. You should not ban it, you should police it and make sure people are representing it correctly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All 
Right, where this kind of deletes war crime a bit, huh? Yeah. There's a couple of things in the, uh... That yeah. count as war crimes that are not... Not the big ticket items, you know? Well, I mean, the there's a bunch items. of different levels of crime. War crimes are just a category. It's not a severity. <laughs> now... I have Weird Al's word crimes in my head. <laughs> Ty says it's only a war crime if it's from the war region. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I mean, otherwise it's just, it's just a... Um, <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. Otherwise it's just a spicy human rights violation. Oh. We're all going to hell, but first we're going to jail. <laughs> You go to hell before you die. That's why I was <laughs> thinking Luigi. just then. If you do drugs, you go to hell before you die. Here's my brother Luigi to give you a whole heap of spaghetti pile of information. Hello, Mario. <laughs> God. Mm hmm You're not God. As far you as don't you're get aware. to answer that. As far oh, as no. you're aware. Uh, I think those moles like to do the little fighty things so much. Oh, hey. I got one of those ridiculous titles, like Crystal has. Yay. Rock Salt, which as we all learned, should have probably featured in more of those Breath of the Wild recipes. Mm -hmm. Probably. Mm. <laughs> uh, or BDG. Nabbit. Yeah. <laughs> now go point the right direction. <laughs> I think I have too many Rotate. things. Well, you do I have don't know a catalog, why right? you would think that. You only have like 30 or 40. <laughs> And nothing. <laughs> Eng. It's a thing. The po. You've yeah, got to fight the thing. thing. Fight the thing. Row, row, fight the po boy. Fight the thing. Oh, Just boy. ask yourself, what would Kurt Russell do? What is happening? I'm Kurt wrestling your jimmies. Mm hmm. That was, uh. I'll give that one a three. I can't take this judgment! <laughs> Gasp, it's Link. Go kick his ass again. Does he come to town? That's how you know if it's Link. But does he come to town to save the day? And Princess Zelda. Yeah, and then talk her away. And now the children don't play.
But wait, what happens if Zelda comes to town and Ganon took Link away? Wait, what do we do now? <laughs> wait, I don't understand! I don't follow! Shit, this wasn't in the drill! Too bad, you're gonna have to improvise. I said improvise, damn it! Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, they took Link away, now the, 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 the heroes of the way, the Zelda save us all. Beautiful. <laughs> Brought a tear to my eye. I'm no good at improv. I don't, I can't make up anything. I hope you can feel my hands around your beak. <laughs> <laughs> I through space time. I fully expected. I fully expected you to say, "I hope you can feel my hands around your neck." <laughs> yeah, for a second there. <laughs> I keep thinking that half the reason they made this game was to have a bestiary teaching people the names of all these recurring enemies for brand and marketing reasons. Sure that they I mean put, like, it a is door on the other side or something. It is kind of overdue for some for something like that to be featured in a Zelda game. I mean, they they I still think that this is laying the breadcrumbs for selling all of these things as little figures cuz everything here is very marketable. It's true. The term uh mm -hmm. that marketing people made up for this is toyetic. Uh and this is why we don't listen to marketing people. <laughs> One of the many reasons. Mm -hmm. Ryru says amiibo for everything. Amiibo for the bed. The bed is mm -hmm. the MVP here, honestly. You get an amiibo! <laughs> and you get an amiibo! But not Jonas, he just gets a flebo. A flebo, a flubo. <laughs> A, a flebo, a flubo. <clears throat> uh. Wow, that could launch you. That could. But do? Yeah, chat's saying never listen to marketing people. I've got some opinions about certain companies listening to marketing people. You mean and all then, of them? Well, yeah, specifically Magic. There have been several cards that's like, no, we need Add to make these to cards. zero, chat. <laughs> 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 there have been several cards where they admitted uh, marketing told us to make this different because it needed to be the marquee card for a set. And then we ended up making it way too fucking overpowered and had abandoned everything. Which means our marquee card that was supposed to be like the big thing of the set is now banned everywhere. And it's like, well, fucking, you see how you are putting your foot into your mouth and then shooting not only your foot, but yourself in the head. Well, see, the thing is, Miller, is that they don't care about what happens to the value of it after it's sold. No, they do. Because they have uh, reprint equity, you know, that thing where they don't recognize the secondary market, except for the fact that they literally say they do. Yeah, but they can't. They can't, they can't do that. Yeah, it would be illegal. It would be insider trading, and it would, like... Yeah, it yeah, would so be super they can't illegal do that they thing that. that they may or may not be doing. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Noodles. A, guy named, a guy named Glitch says magic is Miller's penders. Jonas says the eighties <laughs> pop color Stoker, Sonic, anything Miller, MTG. Don't forget yeah. Dracula and the Haunted Mansion. Yeah, I have see, a couple of tracks. See, to my Stoker's mind. a little multifaceted. Miller's just kind of one dimensional. <laughs> wow! Everyone's so mean to Miller lately. <laughs> one dimensional Look, got, like his cards. I've got game. Okay, they're two-dimensional, thank you very much. <laughs> anyway, magic, Doodles! I've got game design, I've got Path of Exile, like, you want to talk about things, I'll talk about things. 
It's just mine are even, even more esoteric. Everybody knows what a Dracula is. Everybody knows what a Sonic is. <laughs> but does anybody know what a Ken Penders really is? No. Not even sure Ken Penders I mean, thank knows. God. So, Doodle Science says... has yet to discover. <laughs> Doodle says... <laughs> It wasn't marketing people who came up with Toyetic. It was from the- Oh no, it scrolled off screen! It, it was from the 80s TV show Not Necessarily the News in their segment called Sniglets. First of all, I'm not sure that's an okay word to say. <laughs> Second of all... I mean, Twitch didn't flag it, I suppose it's fine. <laughs> Second of all, are you 100% sure that's where it debuted, Doodles? Because I... that feels like maybe it could be true, but it also feels like maybe it couldn't be true. <laughs> like, is that where it actually debuted, or was that just what brought it to the public's attention? Ryru says, until then, I read a post about the gods turning you into a gay little animal and undergoing a journey of self-understanding. So you could say I've kind of read House Pets. <laughs> well, the last couple arcs, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Doodle says, absolutely, it was a segment done by comic Rich Hall. It's where it debuted. Well, I'll be hornswoggled. Well, I Twitch. will be snookered and boondoggled. You can do that I'll, on Twitch. I'll be flimflammed. You can also do that on Twitch. Your go, Miller! <laughs> I'll be, uh, shingdinged and hootenannied. You absolutely cannot do that on Twitch. Yeah, sorry, Miller. That's a bridge too far. We're gonna have to, um... We're, we're gonna have to, to cook you with your giblets and gravy. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> um, it is almost Thanksgiving. That's true. Gotta start getting Miller ready. Yeah, fucking Jonas's <laughs> chat was literally talking about that. That like the moment I got in there, they're like, "Okay, it's almost Thanksgiving. We're gonna stuff the bird. Everyone that's stuff not, the bird. Stuff the bird." That's not what we like, meant by. Uh huh. Uh huh. What did you mean by stuff the bird, huh? You know what they meant. I know. <laughs> Jonas, I need you to rope in your chat. Yeah, we gotta go. Big lecherous. We, we gotta. We gotta put. Miller in the freezer for a couple weeks. Jonas it's... says I'll be reblungled and griflablerized. He sure does say that. <laughs> Just in general. It's true. That, that is a thing he has probably said at least once. <laughs> yeah, right there. Yeah. You can see it. <laughs> if only fucks. incidentally. Turkey Miller win. Uh, Jonas. Oh, he's already a turkey. Jonas, dra drama catch tuber as a turkey. Do it. But you have to make it one of those like those like really crappy hand turkeys that like little kids <laughs> yes. make, <laughs> and then just color it Miller colored. That reminds me of, like, my favorite, um, cut bit from Gravity Falls. Um, it's on YouTube. They showed it at the convention. They were originally going to have, like, the first scene with Bill Cipher as a character be much more comedic than it ended up being. And so he, like, visits Dipper in a dream, and he pulls all kinds of, like, nonsensical stuff to him in the dream, including, like, uh teasing him about this thing about Wendy and then like he tells him a message that he's supposed to act on and uh Dipper wakes up and he's like oh man what a crazy dream and then he looks on his right hand 
and uh, written on his right hand is the phrase, the dream was was real, signed Bill. <laughs> and then he, underneath that, further down his arm, is like, hey, look what I did to your other hand. <laughs> and then he looks at his left hand, and he's just drawn the turkey on it, and it just says, look, a turkey! <laughs> 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 and I know that they cut it because it wasn't quite evil enough to convey what Bill's character really was, but damn, I wish they'd kept it because of how funny it was. <laughs> <laughs> Dealing with Logs is writing a story on Ringo, so this is all I have in my okay. mind right now. And Rice says, Hey, I know what that thing is now. I've read a even Celestia. <laughs> 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 <sighs> yeah, I've been seeing a lot of cool progress of people doing anthology stories. Is there another anthology coming soon? Not soon, but there's another anthology coming. Yeah, eventually. They, uh... Eventually, yes. They Why are they called server? anthologies instead of anthologies? Uh, Why do they call it anthology when you of and thethology and out ought eat thethology? <laughs> uh, Thank you. Sure. <laughs> that gets a one and a half. I have like half a year to do it, so I can procrastinate for six months, right? Mm -hmm. Rick, do yeah, not that's how me. that works. Procrastinate for six months, write the entire thing from scratch to edited, finished version in three weeks. Or, you know, a night. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat. Whatever hebles your fleeble. Whatever florgles your dorgle. You can't Whatever hoogles your flugle. Listen, what I do between my Dorgle is between me and God. Yeah, but not when you're talking about it on Twitch. Well, fine. Well. I'll leave my Dorgle unflorgled for the sake of Twitch. Oh no, F feel free to florgle your Dorgle. Just don't talk about it. At least not on Twitch, just put it in there. Mm -hmm. uh, secret Dorgle private floor things private. That's right. I could be florgling my Dorngle right now and you'd never know. <laughs> right, says what you do is between you, God, and the terms of service. <laughs> Isn't there oh. somebody you forgot to ask? <laughs> oh, I hate credit card companies. <laughs> it's not a credit card company. It's literally just Mastercard. Yeah. All one company. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. I'm gonna eat them. Yay! Delightful. I mean, I don't think you have to. I'm pretty sure that the CEO or whoever keeps making these fucking rules is like. Two lamb shakes away from kicking the bucket. <laughs> yeah, because I'm gonna eat them. <laughs> you know, you, you know what? If you want to speed up nature, go right ahead. I'm not gonna stop you. It's uh, it's recycling. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Oh god, this fucking sunfish. <laughs> Miller. <laughs> You hate sunfish as much as I love them. They're so... They're, like, literally... It's ironic, given you're a vampire. The... <laughs> yeah, they're completely useless. Why do you think I love them so much? <laughs> oh, I see. You find, a, you find a way to commiserate with them. A kinship. What? Yeah. Wow! See? I can also be mean. And after I spared you from the headsman's axe, I pardoned you <laughs> last Spare the Thanksgiving. Rod, spoil the bird. <laughs> the lesson here is don't spare the rod, B. Miller.
<laughs> Ray, Fry Miller. Fry is not a command. Ray, you knew that. <laughs> Boy, howdy! It sure would be nice to oh. catch. By the way, I looked up what the uh, the boss monster in Silent Hill 2 that I kept referring to as Vagina Mouth. Um, it's a Vagina Mouth. I looked up what it's actually called, and uh, I think its official name might actually be worse than that. <laughs> That's impressive. Share with the so. rest of the class. The official name Archie. is... The official name is... Uh, Flesh Lips. That's basically the same thing. Mm. Yeah. Blarf lips. Nothing suspicious about that wall at all. <laughs> Not at all. Ryru asks, is that printed out in an official Brady game strategy guide somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> Probably, but also it's in the Steam achievements. When I beat it, it says defeated. Uh, I looked at it and it said defeated flesh lips. So <laughs> there you go. Steam achievements, uh, the same thing as um, Brady games, mm -hmm. sort of. Honestly, yeah. In a way. <laughs> I, well, I mean, yeah, Steam guides, definitely. Oh, Zelda's dead. Oh, battery acid spaghetti. I remember that silver spotlight. Is it is it terrible that I have always wanted to try that? Just going by oh, the name, is that probably. The, that, that's the that's the sour gummy strips and like Mountain Dew or something. Monster Energy, I think. Monster Energy, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. God. You take uh you take sour straws or whatever and like put them in there, and everyone's like, mm, you shouldn't do this. Uh, like, the first person who did it was like, don't do this, and then the second person's like, you're not the boss of me, I'm gonna do this, and then they tried it, and they said, don't do this. And then the third person was like, well, now I have to do this, and then they tried it, and they were like, don't do this. <laughs> and that's literally just, like, the whole thing, all the way down the line, <laughs> Everyone's like, well, now I want to try it. And then they're like, please, no one try this after they've tried it. We truly are a horrible species. mistake. <laughs> anyway, so that made me want to try it. Um... Look, Watch, it I is end slightly up being... healthier than some other fads I've seen people eat stuff for. True. Not mm, like healthier. I guess slightly healthier. Sense. Healthier in like the, the sense cinnamon that challenge will actually than... just kill you. Wait, what'd you say, Miller? Like the cinnamon challenge will actually just kill you if you fuck it up. Oh yeah, there's a there's a way to do that lethally, isn't there? Mhm. Mm what the hell is the cinnamon challenge? Uh, uh eat a spoonful of cinnamon. That's that's literally it. And then die. <laughs> yeah, die if you eat too much fun. cinnamon, it can uh, really mess you up. Because that interferes with your blood sugar. <laughs> and how your well, pancreas works. Well, the one I've seen is because it's, it's <laughs> so dry and it soaks up so much moisture. It's not that just that. It... Well, okay. Okay. <laughs> Remember, kids, poison is always a matter of quantity. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's true. Do you do poison? No. What sort? <laughs> no, know your LD50s. <laughs> I actually no, didn't know that holiday. about cinnamon. <laughs> yeah, gear says it can attach to your lungs. That's the one I've heard, is that it can... You put it in your mouth, and it'll irritate your mouth, and you'll start coughing, which will end up, you'll inhale some of the cinnamon, and then it'll get into your alveoli and basically dry them out and, like, give you, like, a dry pneumonia. Yeah, I heard if you, if you, if you do that, you'll get, like, a cinnamon tree growing in your lungs. 
<laughs> I heard that Cinnamon once killed a man just to watch him die. What's that one? It's like a, a Pakistani cartoon about not eating the seeds in the watermelon or else you turn into a watermelon. I mean, that into sounds a watermelon like watermelon, And then the kids will come along and eat you. And that's no good. Dalian Moore says, you know a woman died from superhydration? Yeah, uh, water has an LD50. Everything can kill you. It's mm -hmm. true. <laughs> a guy named Glitch says, Cinnamon killed a man is just how they warn you about a particular stripper. <laughs> <laughs> Spicy. And a story about someone drinking too much holy water and dying too. They must have been a vampire or demon. Mm -hmm. It's entirely possible. I mean, we oh, can't prove Saturday. that they weren't. I need your opinion. I need I need to know what your thoughts are on the Vatican revealing uh, Lucia or Lucy. Oh, that's right. The Vatican has an <laughs> anime mascot for yes. this coming year. <laughs> We yep. finally have God and anime on the same side. <laughs> that That is a thing that has happened. Yeah, someone told me about it earlier, and I was like, what? <laughs> I'm like, yes, that was the issue with the Catholic Church. That's what they, uh, that's what they needed to uh, reach today's youth. They needed to uh, create uh, a kawaii mascot character. <laughs> Oh, wow, that's... that's a choice there, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad, all things I considered. I'm, I mean... I don't know what his staff is supposed to be, like, it looks like some kind of, uh... You know exactly what it's divining supposed rug. to be. <laughs> Let me take another look. Um... No, I don't know what it's supposed to be either, honestly. It's... looks a little lewd, honestly. <laughs> oh, that's not even what I think at all. I, I assume it's some sort of... Religious implement. I like I how. Let me take a look. I like how. Oh, that's the, uh, the Vatican actually making an official anime series with those mascots. I mean, not yet, but give it time. <laughs> yeah. I honestly. like how all of the like kid characters have those like big old anime eyes, but the animals just have the most dead Funko Pop eyes. <laughs> I haven't seen the animals yet. Here, oh. Oh, that's what it is. It's a shepherd's crook. Yeah, I was about to say. All off topic it. That makes sense. Is okay. it? I guess. Yes, I it's it's meant of. to like yeah, grab a uh, grab a lamb's limb to like get them out of something because you don't want to reach in with your hands to like free them from a branch or a, or a uh, bush or something because then they'll just kick you. Yeah, true. They'll, they'll, they'll eat your hand. Yeah, that's true. You're what like, no, this? this isn't what I meant when I said they wanted you to eat out of my hand. Strange kangaroo on the street. That is a strange kangaroo. Here, let me come over to investigate. <laughs> You're welcome, Ray. Ashley, why uh... did you shuffle me away from my twin? Benui. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, that's weird. Because Ray didn't get to spend his birthday next to Rick's thighs enough. Because you also, two can't be close, or there will be an explosion thing. Also, because yeah, I sure, was hoping we'll it would be there. Something, something, bunnies multiplying. <laughs> you know? Oh, I get it. It's a sex joke. Oh, yeah. Talos says there's already rule 34 of the, the Vatican anime. Kid. Of course there is. Of, of course, course there course. is. Of course there is. I'm not the slightest bit surprised by that. Neither should any of you be. Benoit. <laughs> Benoit. There is, listen, the two fastest known things. Benoit. <laughs> 
the the two <laughs> fastest things in known science are the speed of light and uh, rule 34 artists when they see a new character. Mm. I'll never get over there being so much porn in Zoroark while Ooh, they were still just a silhouette. <laughs> About the Vatican thing, honestly real progress will be when they make a furry mascot Aww. though. <laughs> That's true. That's true. When the when the Vatican starts um, assigning years of fursona, that's when it's all over. Yeah, and they need to give us Jesus' official fursona. Yeah, I mean we've got uh, we've got his unofficial fursona thanks to C.S. Lewis, but <laughs> okay. Well, would he a lion oh or a God. lamb? Like, well, which... no, because that's the Jesus thing. can like... have more than one persona. <laughs> I was gonna say that was the joke in A and H Club. Is like, you know, Jesus. But was historically, an Jesus lion. was a ram, not a lion. Yeah. yeah, there it is. There's the reference. <laughs> okay, and then of course, if if then you got Satan as the, as the goat, so you've got the the, the sheep goat parody thing. But then it'd be like, no, he wasn't a goat, he was also a ram. <clears throat> because it was... Or... No, wait, I forget. Uh, Lucifer and Satan are two different characters sometimes. It depends on the it's... character. character. Uh, okay, so... Okay, oh, no, so... I no, 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 oh, oh, God, I triggered stuff. Oh, oh, you started something. So, okay, so... Sometimes they're treated as the same entity, and sometimes they're treated as different entities. As a concept within religion, Satan is the older of the two. Lucifer is a more recent concept than Satan is. Um, however, in most uh, medieval demonologies and grimoires, uh, Lucifer, when what? Lucifer and Satan are... Sa what? <laughs> What'd you say, Ray? Right? I just giggled the grimoire. Totally plagiarized yeah, well, the little angel thing. from Errol. Yes. Uh, in most medieval and Renaissance um, demonology uh, hierarchies and grimoires and stuff like that, uh, that have them as separate entities, Lucifer is usually, no, not usually, always listed as the one at the top, uh, even above Satan. So. And if you ask people, like, most Christians are like, oh, they're the same thing. Uh, most people uh, of, you know, various other faiths, like, you know, pagans and occultists and stuff, are like, I don't know. Um, <laughs> opinions differ, is what I'm saying. Uh, of course, the official lore, as set down by the official uh, hell historian Vivzipop, <laughs> is that they're separate people. <laughs> Okay. Officially. Yes. See, my thing was always, or my belief of it was always that it's like Satan is like basal evil, like lizard brain kind of stuff, whereas mm -hmm. Lucifer represents sort of intentional evil. This is the like, you know, betrayal and the kind of stuff that gets you in the bottom levels of hell, according to I Dante. I once saw, I once saw someone of, uh, shall we say, a, um... A, a Luciferian persuasion, a, a satanically inclined persuasion, uh, what say about that. Then? Oh, well, Beelzebub is. I'll get to Beelzebub later. Um, the, uh, say that, uh, Lucifer is the why and Satan is the how. Hmm. Um, but who's the when? Uh, probably Belphegor, whenever they get around oh. to it. Um... Valid. But, um... The... Uh, the other thing, too, is that the, the Lucifer stories we know it, I mean, um... Borrows a little bit from a, um... Well, there's cross borrowing going on. There, there's also uh, an angel called Samael, um, which features in a lot of like Jewish texts, and that's kind of a um, that's kind of a, uh, a a satanic figure as well, um, and also the name of the final boss of Silent Hill One. Um, 
even though for whatever reason the image that they chose to use for that was Baphomet, but that's beside the point. Um, I guess they probably figured that there wouldn't everyone be nerds like Baphomet. me. What'd you say? I said everyone loves Baphomet. Everyone yeah. does love Baphomet. Have I ever gone on about where Baphomet came from? <laughs> probably. Oh no, now they're chaining together. Chat, we have to stop him. He's never going to stop. You can't stop me. My Wait, special nobody. interests are too powerful. Oh, and don't little... even try to distract me with Ken Penders. <laughs> I was just going to say, somebody I... ask a question about Ken Penders. <laughs> I searched Baphomet image search, and I found hey, all these Rick cute little the thing. crochet ones. Congratulations, he beat the boss. Aw, yay. Crochet Baphomet. The, the oh no, so... I'm fishing. I just got a three wolf moon shirt. <laughs> the Knights Templar. <laughs> Us too. Oh, yes, I must. I've All got right. a secret you've been, order. You've been put in the penalty box, just so you're aware. Well, that's okay. <laughs> I'm still going to talk. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 Ryru's like, nice job, Rick. Okay, back to Stoker. Um, <laughs> the Knights Templar um, were a uh, very powerful uh, Christian... Uh, paramilitary group back in the day and they were so rich and so powerful that they made people very jealous of them and uh they got accused of heresy and tortured into confessing to all kinds of uh weird idolatrous acts which probably were not ever committed and one of the As things yeah one of the things that they were alleged to be doing was worshipping a god called Baphomet. Uh, or, um, well, the this is the first appearance of this name in any written record, and the prevailing theory right now is that um, what uh, the, uh, the Inquisitors, the torturers, were actually accusing them of was uh, becoming Muslims, and Baphomet was just a corruption of bah of Muhammad, Baph Baphomet, um, because they just didn't understand what Islam was about. <laughs> uh... Yeah, cool. a lot of these things turn out to be a game of telephone when you dig down far deep enough. <laughs> Even the Lucifer thing is a game of telephone. I was literally about to say that. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's no verse, there's no verse in the canon Bible that ever outright says the devil's real name is Lucifer. That's a uh, uh, layers and layers of uh, of of interpretation, uh, stitching things together, leaping to conclusions. Uh, it's 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 fanfic, is what it is. <laughs> BSX. Okay. There's a thin line between uh, religious fan fanatic and fan, which is just the shortened word for fanatic anyway, so... The religion fandom. Yeah, things really heating up in the religion fandom. Mm-hmm. God, those fandom wars have been terrible. Yeah, no, listen. Give it a give it a century or two, and people will in fact be killing each other over shipping discourse. It's <laughs> already damn near close to that. <laughs> no. Uh Hulk and Hawkeye would be the best boyfriends ever. Did you say you Hulk? Oh, you said Hulk and Hawkeye. I literally thought you said Hulk and Hot Guy. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was trying to say Hulk and Hawkeye, and then I was like Mark Ruffalo, and I'm like, wait, no, fucking <laughs> not the actor. Hulk and Hot Guy. Um, his name is uh Johnny Storm. <laughs> <laughs> I had to think about that one for a second, didn't you? Yeah, I thought nobody he... actually cares about the Fantastic Four. <laughs> no. That is so rude. <laughs> I remember seeing people mention it in what was it, the newest Doctor Strange movie? 
where they had Reed Richards on there, and everyone was like, oh, okay, I guess. <laughs> you know, though, but you know who's currently writing the Fantastic Four, and I haven't read mo much of it, but it's apparently really good. <laughs> Do you no. know who? Yeah. No. Uh, fucking uh, right. fucking Ryan, Ryan North, North yeah. is currently writing the Fantastic Four. <laughs> name means uh, nothing to me. That sure dinosaur, is a name. Dinosaur comics. That he sure is a name. He also wrote of uh, Squirrel Girl that everybody Squirrel knows. Girl. There yeah, he also did the Squirrel Girl run that everyone loves. Like, the one where Galactus called Thanos a tool... Uh, the one where uh, Squirrel Girl Squirrels had to pretend to be Tony Stark for a while and pilot his armor. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's when comics are the best, when they're being fashionably stupid. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. That's silly in the mm. best way. Exactly. Oh. Ew. Whoops, I sold my spine. I'll have to go get a new one. That sounds well, like a uh, that sounds like an issue that uh, you may need some additional help with. I'll be fine. I know where to find one. There's one just lying around. Hello, Astolfo. Oh, hey, Astolfo. Hello, Astolfo. How are you, kitten? Ivory says, who let the dang cat in? Wow! Wow! Rude! Who let the cat in? Yeah, is that a dated enough reference Meow. for everyone? No. I need more dating. Well, I mean, first of all, you gotta get yourself out there, man. <laughs> <laughs> like... More. 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 Miller, I'm I'm gonna need you to calm down a little bit here. He doesn't know how, especially because you told him to go out and date people. Oh yeah, I told That's her true. that I'd get it, her chickens back and I haven't done that. Well, that makes you a liar, doesn't it, Rick? <laughs> a lying liar who tells untruths. Like lies. Yeah, exactly. An untruth. There is an untruther in our midst. <laughs> I didn't have a I'm burglar. I didn't have a particular reason for making that sound. I just realized it had been a while Ooh. since I had. You never have a particular reason for doing anything, Stoker. Why would you start now? Yeah. Mm. There we go. There's that spine. You get a bottle for returning the chickens? It's literally the prize you get in Ocarina of Time for doing the same thing, isn't it? <laughs> hmm. I think so, now that you mention it. <laughs> you can do that with any winged creature. Hmm. The bottles I, that the fairies just I love to be in. <laughs> Speaking of Yoshi, saw a tweet recently that Nintendo just keeps tweet. Uh, uh oh. Did Frederick just die in mid-word? Uh, probably. Mm. Uh, he said he's been having issues with his TTS, so... Yeah, I was helping him with it before the stream started, but I guess it's still not quite at 100%. Mm. I did see I, I... what he was referring to, though. That someone keeps redoing the entire render of Yoshi, rather than just, like... Yes. <laughs> Let me try again. <laughs> Speaking of Yoshi... Saw a tweet recently that Nintendo just keeps tweaking the Yoshi render they put in games. Like, not a completely new render, never the same one, just keep reusing it with small differences. Yeah, it's not that they keep re-rendering it, it's that they keep, like, put, 
doing After Effects and photoshopping stuff to it to make it slightly different each time. Different <laughs> levels of, like, uh, saturation and stuff like that, instead of just, like, being consistent. <laughs> also, apparently, uh, like, some time ago in the chat, uh, a guy named Glitch said that Astolfo sounds like one of the Ars Goetia. <laughs> Which, uh, okay, yeah, so... Valid. Mm. First of all, mm. funny. That's a funny joke. FUNNY JOKE! Um, oh no. But, second of all... No. Second of there all... There we go again. Uh, it brings up something that I find uh, linguistically amusing about when someone says the Ars Goetia to refer to the 72 demons from the Lesser Key of Solomon. Um... <laughs> A.K.A. the Lamegaton. But, see, Ars Goetia literally just means the Goetic Arts. And Goetia is Greek for sorcery. So Ars Goetia just means the art of sorcery. Um, so... Uh, whenever people refer to the Goetic Demons, or in that um, hell of a show, they refer to the Goetia family, I'm like, so, the sorcery family. <laughs> the sorcery demons. I mean, yes. Yeah, <laughs> that's how D&D sorcerers work, is hereditary. Yeah, but like, I mean, yeah, I guess so. It I mean, well, sorcery. Be hereditary, but. Me, 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 me. Whatever. Magic is a religious boon or something. But uh Your no, I mean like it. it's 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 funny too because like there there are other uh lists of demons out there than besides the seventy two in the, the Key of Solomon. They're not any less goetic than the Solomonic ones. <laughs> they should give you the katana and instead of Link, Zelda turns into Sheik. <laughs> Yeah. Honestly, yeah. That would have been pretty cool. Anyway, Stoker. I keep being like I've heard of these things, but it's always Shin Megami Tensei teaching me all I know about demons. <laughs> I them, mean, yes, there's a lot Good of this man. stuff. There's a lot of this stuff in Shin Megami Tensei. I should probably play it at some point because it seems right up my alley since so much of this stuff is in it. Um. Hmm. Here's the problem is that's usually in the battle system, and the battle system is like maybe 30% of those games. <laughs> I guess if you play the normal SNTs, you might have more of that. It's a little dated, let's say. <laughs> Most people play the Persona games, though, and those are, like, mostly the social stuff. Glitch also says there's supposed to be a new Persona Hell of a Boss. Persona is more about Jung and stuff. Yeah, there's supposed to be a new Hell of a Boss episode dropping soon. Yeah, I suspect that it's either going to drop on Halloween itself or it's going to drop tomorrow. Very um, soon, yes. Either way. Uh, and then, um, uh, Pew asked, so has anyone watched any spooky movie recently? Um, what is the most recent spooky movie I have seen? Probably I mean, Neil unless Beetle we're... Juice. Yeah, but that's, I mean, that's a comedy. I mean, it's still spooky, but... It, mm. it qualifies. It qualifies? Okay. They said spooky, not, like, horror. True, true. <laughs> Before that one, the most recent one I've seen this year was, um, I think it was Oddity, actually, uh, which I saw not too long after I saw Long Legs. Um, and then I enjoyed Oddity so much that I immediately sought out the director's previous movie, which was called Caveat, or Caveat, or caveat, however you want to say it. Um. Convulsion. Mm, that's not an acceptable pronunciation. 
But, uh, no, Caveat and, uh, Oddity are both really good. Um, Caveat actually had some moments in it that, that made me think about them afterwards in a creeped out way, and it's been a long fucking time since I've experienced that. Um, it's oh, creepy. Pro probably haven't figured, experienced that feeling since, like, fucking high school. Um... Have I watched The Substance? No, Pew, I haven't watched The Substance yet, but I'm definitely going to watch The Substance because I've been told it's it's uncomfortable, vile, difficult to watch, and people keep walking out of it. So definitely I'll be watching it. <laughs> That's like stoker bait right there. <laughs> I'm fished out. Gonna step away for a snack slash dinner. Gotta eat it's, all this uh... fish I caught. <laughs> Enjoy. It's a uh, it's a body horror movie, so you know those uh, uh, those get <laughs> those get under people's skin. Um, <laughs> Snow Wolf Bravo. Oh, yes, I get it. Yeah, I see, I see. Snow Wolf Bravo asks Stoker, "Have you ever watched Jacob's Ladder?" Being a Silent Hill fan, yes, I have watched Jacob's Ladder. It's been a while, but I have watched it. Um, very interesting movie, uh, not exactly what you'd call a feel-good flick. Um, <laughs> don't know but, why uh, you would say that. Aesthetically, uh, aesthetically incredible. Um, and Silent Hill, especially Silent Hill 2, has its fingerprints all over it. Which is to say, I'm sorry... Jacob's Ladder's fingerprints are all over Silent Hill, not the other way around, because Jacob's Ladder came first. Mm -hmm. They're similar. They are, they are similar. Have you played Hunting Ground, Stoker? No, I have not yet, uh, Gears. Jacob's Ladder just couldn't keep its hands off Silent Hill, too. Well, Silver, you gotta admit, uh, there's some... Pretty sexy, uh, pretty sexy things in Silent Hill 2. Mm. I get they're supposed to be evocative, but I don't think they're supposed to be then sexy. I mean... There's a difference, I think. I have been up here. I go a different direction. They'd be cheese to meet you too. <laughs> oh, that's Ashley. I was saying uh, the other night. I was saying to Jonas, um, like, what if, what if Maria in Silent Hill Two was got the Ash or the Mousley treatment, and she was just drawn <laughs> as a mouse? <laughs> he actually ended up sketching that, and it turned out pretty cute. But I think I, I don't think I can share that because I think that's one of his uh, coffee Kofi exclusive sketches. Which, by the way, if you want to see those. You go subscribe to Jonas's Kofi. That's right. Oh, also, God. that uh, that that Stoker guy is uh, currently soliciting uh, Kofi do donations too because of multiple unexpected bills that have hit him at the end of the month when he's out of money until the first. <laughs> you you know how in American society people need to like move around places. Yeah, with uh, this those thing um called uh like a <sighs> what the fuck is it called? That moves automatically. Yeah, what's the name for it? Um, the automo car. It's it's got wheels, and uh and and the an motorized engine. buggy. Yeah, yeah, the horseless carriage. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, uh, my battery's dead and I need a new one, and I, uh, don't Oof. have the money, and my cat has vet bills and I don't have the money, and there's another bill that caught me by surprise, just snuck up behind me and went, bleh, and I don't have the money, so. Yeah, like, I, I, I appreciate the, uh, impression there, but, uh, it went bleh, it went bleh, bleh. So, yeah, I'm currently working on that as a uh, Ko-Fi goal, and I will be streaming after Rick tonight, doing more Silent Hill 2, and uh, if you uh, if you donate to my Ko-Fi then, you get to hear my lovely little uh, bat squeak sound effect that, uh, that I made specifically for you. 
just you, Maru Horry. says, why don't they have vehicles have more horses instead of fewer? I'm pretty sure they have quite a number of horses. I mean, I can think of a few cars that have over 600 of them. Yeah. I got a spooky rod made of a dead guy. Fine. Rub it in. Okay. Yeah, I you do rub it Ray? <laughs> hey, Stoker. Yeah? I've got a spooky fishing rod made oh. of a dead guy. <laughs> it's all spectral and glowy and made of bones. You can't now actually tell that it's made of here. bones, but it is spectral and glowy. Now you listen here. Yes. I don't know. Valid. Ah, that big bony rod. Do you want to touch my rod, Stoker? Hey! <laughs> now on Twitch. <laughs> Take it to VR chat, you two. <laughs> it's glowing. <laughs> oh god, Stoker, you should play House. It's a horror puzzle game. Um, tell me more about House Gears. Uh, when I hear the name House, I usually think of one of two movies. One of them, an absolutely psychedelic, trippy-ass 70s Japanese movie. And the other one, a rubber and puppetastic 1980s American horror comedy. Are they, oh, I so think they're talking think about, about like the, the Doom game that was turned into it. Oh, House Dot Was? Yeah. It, it's a standalone now? I Maybe? was not even a little bit aware of this. Here says no. Oh, okay. Oh. I was wrong. <laughs> it's okay. It happens to the best of us. I do like House Dot Was. I've seen that played. It is very creepy. Dust Boxer asks, Stoker, you now have me curious. Between Oddity and Caveat, which one would you recommend the most? I haven't decided what horror movie I'm going to watch tomorrow, so you can dictate what I should go for. Do not uh, give him that power. You will regret it. It's well, hard. the good news is the good news is they're both on Shutter. So if you have Shutter, you don't really have to choose. You can just do one one night and the other the other. But um, between the two, what? I would say Caveat is the scarier one, but Oddity is the one I prefer. And my reasons for that are entirely my subjective personal tastes. Uh, entirely valid, honestly. I, I think what my reasons are is that, I mean, both of them have supernatural elements to them, and supernatural horror is my favorite kind. Um, but the supernatural elements of oddity are uh, much more overt than the supernatural elements of caveat um both of them have images that will stick with you though Boxer says, I have a Shudder subscription, but Halloween Night is already spoken for. Well, honestly, just flip a coin. Either way you go, you're going to get a good movie. The director of those two movies knows what he's doing. Um, he knows how to construct a solid spooky film. He has that, uh, that EC Comics kind of morality where uh, the people who do wrong end up suffering the most hellish of the fates of anyone in the movies. Um, he, uh, he knows how to correctly use jump scares, which is to say he uses them very, very, very sparingly, 
Uh, but when he does use them, he knows how to make them jump you. <laughs> um... Pew asks, have you seen any of the VHS movies? I started watching the first one, and the very first segment made me so motion sick I couldn't continue the movie. Aww. I may try it again after I pop a Dramamine, but, um... Uh, Gears is talking about the, uh, house game. It's a game you play as a little girl goes around a house and everything is trying to kill you, going in a loop and have to figure out how to save the whole family before she dies again. Oh, that's a that's a fairly recent one. I think I've seen. Uh, well, that sounds of fun. Shots of that. That sounds fun. That sounds like something I would get a kick out of. Let's see. Okay. Let's good night, Ryru. Good night, Ryru. Good right. Oh, interesting. So it's got like a very, um, very pixelated, like, um, uh, graphical style somewhere between like the Atari and the NES. Yes. Okay. All right. I'll put that one on my list. You're going on the list. Oh, right. Steam has a Halloween sale going. I haven't even looked at that because I can't afford it. Uh. Ashtaroth says Stoker likes seeing little girls being killed in a loop by monsters. Well, when you put it like that, you make it sound <laughs> really bad. <laughs> Anything sounds bad when you say it with that attitude. Okay, some of these games that are on sale in the Halloween sale are kind of uh, pushing the definition of Halloween game a bit. <laughs> like most of them? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll accept Cult of the Lamb as a Halloween game, but I'm not so sure about Spider-Man. We just got a spider. That's no. spooky. It does have a spider in it, yeah. Hi. Have you ever seen that one, um... That one Marvel Comics page where, um, oh, it's the Avengers are just hanging out at Avengers HQ, and uh, they're they're trying all this different stuff to see if Spider-Man can stick to it, and they can't find anything that he can't stick to, <laughs> and like they're just thinking of more and more things, and like the Hulk walks in and they just look at him, and like. In, like, the next panel, Spider- the Hulk's arm is just outstretched, and Spider-Man is hanging from underneath his arm, stuck to it. <laughs> oh, yes, I've seen that page. Yeah, and, like, uh, Hercules is there, and he's like, he's like, Hulk, for Sir Hulk, you have a spider on your arm. <laughs> <laughs> and the Hulk is just like, Spider-Man Hulk's friend. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> 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 Alright. I'm gonna have to go away for a bit. I will be on maybe half an hour. I'll try to be back before the end of the stream. Go Alrighty, ahead. Miller. You have fun. Okay. Enjoy your break. Alright, bye. You back! <laughs> it made the spooky noise when you disconnected. It made spooky noise. It was like. Woo. It did, in fact, do that, Stoker. Spooky, spooky, spooky. Spoopy. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Uh. 
Do they? I mean, you know, I once saw it observed how it's funny that he, lose um, he just went AFK for a short bit. He'll be back. Uh, I once saw it observed that it's really funny how we as a culture went from like a hundred years ago, uh, all skeletons were supposed to be considered scary and all clowns were to be considered funny. And like now we've completely reversed that. <laughs> uh, fuck clowns. <laughs> See, what you need to do is you need to make a skeleton clown. Uh, I've already seen one of those. His name's oh, Skelly. Oh, of course. We like Skelly. We appreciate Skelly in this house. Oh yeah, Glitch, sorry, I forgot to comment on Mad God. I did watch Mad God. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's visually what stunning. What mimes, though? Those have always been scary. I mean, not necessarily. You just got to uh, you just got to master your own fears. It's a it's a matter of mime over matter. Um, Astolfo says Papyrus Undertale also qualifies for skeleton clown. Yes, I think that's fair, Astolfo. <laughs> All right, I'll grant it. And yeah, I forgot about Skelly from Chrono Cross. Isn't he... Don't you have to assemble him by finding all of his bones scattered around the whole world? Yeah. Yep. It's not stupendously hard. You can do it as soon as you get access to the boat. Yeah, I never finished Chrono Cross. No? It's one no. of my favorites. Yeah. I just... For some reason, I expected it to be something that it wasn't, and I just never got around to finishing it. I'll probably go back to it one of these days. Everyone always expects it to be more like Trigger. Dustboxer says, The more that I think about it, I find it strange that Miller advised me not to let Stoker pick what I should watch. I've made it known that I like the movie Eraserhead, so what more damage can be done to me? That's right! Uh, I mean... Boxer. Did it finally kill it? I mean, I also like Eraserhead. <laughs> Tweelis. Show me your Tweelis. Not on Twitch. <laughs> Is that the one with the cursed baby? Yes, it's the one with the That's cursed the baby. It's a cursed baby, yes. I recently <laughs> saw a photo of a fursuiter who was holding a plush version of that, and she's like, uh, I am the legal guardian of the eraser head baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> And uh, the first thing I thought, the first thing I thought was, man, I want one of those plushes. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I'm gonna look it up and see where you uh, get them. <laughs> Naturally, there's some on Etsy. Oh, that's actually bizarrely cute, the better I see it. <laughs> oh, the eraser head baby plush. Yes, it's awesome. Oh my god. Eraser head baby marketable plushie. Yes, exactly that thing. <laughs> oh, this person just made it. Wait, wait. Did did they make the plushie their themselves? Cause that's even more impressive. I mean, there are ones you can buy, it looks like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but like, this is the one that I think is oh. the cutest one. <laughs> oh. Shoot up. Okay, okay, I'm gonna find you the... I'm gonna find you the post of the fursuiter with it. <laughs> Those it's on blue sky. In this game. All right, here we go. I'm posting it in der chat, and I'm also posting it in off topic in der Discord. Ha, 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 ha. 
<laughs> I mean, like, God. Uh, so good. It's so good! It is. supposed to be up here right now, but, you know. Do it anyway. Fuck the system. Fuck linear progression! Stoker, look at the thing I sent you. Hmm? Why'd you send me? Let's have a look-see. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Fed, do everyone a favor and post that in off topic, please. <laughs> Done. Oh, silly little anime. Uh, Boy girl thing. <laughs> God. Uh, one second, Mel. I'll link it over to the uh, Rupert Discord. <laughs> or the uh, or Rick's uh, Patreon Discord. I mean, I can also just do this. Or that. That works, too. And post it directly in the stream. I'm gonna put it yeah. in the, uh... And you can Patreon just click Discord. that and see it. I'm gonna put it in the Patreon Discord, anyway. Yeah, that's fair. What a time to be alive. <sighs> or dead. Birdinger's vampire. I can't dig into it, it's rock. I don't even have anything that could, like... Backrose quarry. You need an industrial excavator, Echo. We're so sorry, skeletons, you're so misunderstood. You only want to socialize, but, but I, don't I don't think we should. <sighs> there you go. I'd socialize with a skeleton. You're socializing with multiple skeletons right now. 
I know, but you know what I mean. What, are our skeletons not good enough for you, Stoker? Huh? Huh? Now you're just putting words in my mouth. Um, something, something. Put something uh -huh. in my mouth, etc. Uh -huh. Remember, there are two skeletons inside you. That seems... <laughs> mm. Like it would only apply to pregnant women. <laughs> All right, fine, I'm here. Hello. Oh, Jonas. hey, Jonas. So Remember, I guess all I had Jonas. to do was mention uh, mention pregnant women, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's my summoning phrase. <laughs> Remember, Jonas, there are two skeletons inside of you. Two? <laughs> do I get a bonus one? A bonus one? You get a one free bonus skeleton. one? Oh, this is my name in your family. Thank you, Swedish chef. <laughs> <clears throat> Hello, Jonas. So, what's um, what's going on? Uh, um, Rick is Zeldaing. A lot of the rest of us are fishing. You're fishing right now. You're web fishing. Yeah. No, they're uh, out on a boat in the middle of the ocean. That too. We're out on the boat in the middle of the ocean web fishing. Because none of us brought actual fishing tackle with us. Hmm. Well, actually, you do have webs. Teehee. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, did, uh, I had to. A guy named Glitch says, so vis-a-vis -vis scary movies, I have no opinion on Exorcist 2, but Exorcist 3 is pretty dang good. Exorcist 2 is considered one of the most disappointing sequels ever made. <laughs> uh, but yes, Exorcist 3 is alright. Exorcist 2, this priest is like, you again? Get out of here! And, the and, and you know, the demon's like, alright, sure. <laughs> Exorcist 2 is a prequel, Jonas. Yeah, well, exactly. That, you see, that, that's, that's why he why. said you again. Yeah. Because he's dealt with the demon like three times by now. Yeah. <laughs> that's how prequels work. Is it? Yes. Yeah. That's exactly how prequels work. Sure. Okay. Whatever. Yeah. You know, it's like you again for the first time again. But yeah, Jonas, do you want to hop in and fish with us a bit? Uh no nah, thanks I'm kind of I'm kind of whooped I'm I'm understandable making... yeah Asheroth I mean, says I thought that was Highlander too look there's plenty of room for disappointing <laughs> sequels in this world I mean after all look at Joker too uh well, or okay. better yet don't was it bad Good night, Astolfo. sleep okay did you not did you not hear about that Jonas uh no it flopped hard oh it was. <laughs> It flopped People commercially, it. it flopped <laughs> critically, the audience hated it. It's one of those few movies where the tomato meter score from the critics and the audience are within a percentage point of each other. Wow. <laughs> it made as much on its opening weekend as uh, Beetlejuice Beetlejuice made on like its sixth or seventh weekend. Okay. Uh, which makes the whole thing a wash for Warner Brothers. Is it at least because... so bad it's a little good? Or... No, as I understand, no, it's, it's just, just bad. straight up bad. <laughs> it's just straight up bad. It's, uh, apparently, it just kind of comes across as a middle finger to anyone who actually wanted it. <laughs> you know, it's too bad because I really like Joaquin Phoenix. But... Yeah, well, I mean, he's, he's fine. He does whatever he can, but, you know, yeah. ultimately, you're only as good as the movie you're in. No, no, that's fair. Snow Wolf Bravo says to me very kindly, Stoker, you are everything I wish I could be. Funny, knowledgeable, a successful vampire. What's the secret? And uh, the secret <laughs> is my killer deal with Satan. Um, or Lucifer. I'm not completely sure. See, I, I, brought the, I brought the joke full circle back to when we were talking about um, demonology earlier and um 
you know. Did uh, that happen? And, I tried to block and, the whole thing out. And 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 and, 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 and the demons and the and the knology. And it's the, like and the, an onion, a circle. Yeah, it's it's like an an onion. Uh, I'm I'm like an onion. You cut me and I cry. Um, I, I don't think onions cry. Onions sure cry. When the onions cry. Mm -mm. Yeah, from what I've heard, um, people say uh, Joker Two as a sequel. They're like this. It's pulled off the rare bad sequel trick of retroactively making the first movie worse. <laughs> um, which is pretty <laughs> impressive. It is. It is. And I know what they're talking about because I read the spoilers and wow, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. How do you manage but, that? Uh, yeah, well, I mean, I'll be honest, I didn't even like the first one, so. I mean, to be fair, I can Not see a lot why. Of people like the first one. <laughs> I can see why people would like the first one. I just didn't. <laughs> First one was interesting. I don't know. Well, like, I mean, there's been a ton of different versions of the Joker over the years, right? I mean, he's been he's been scary, he's been silly, he's been a mix of scary and silly, you know, he's been realistic, quote unquote, he's been fantastical, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But yeah. the one thing that has always remained um consistent about his characterization in every iteration in every form of media is that he is presented as a criminal mastermind a genius like the 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 criminal's criminal whether he's doing a murder or he's doing a heist or he's doing like something really wacky and theatrical he's always presented as just like a, a genius genius level like a moriarty kind of criminal right. um and then the first Joker movie was like, what if he were just a hapless schlub who tripped his way into fame? I mean, I don't really have a problem with that, but I, I get why, you know. You know. Mm. And Alderbane Kitsune also points out that uh, in certain versions of the Joker, he was pulling them boners. He was very fond of the boners way back when. Hey, Jonas, uh, do your Mark Hamill impression and say, I'll show them how many boners the Joker can make. <laughs> <clears throat> I'll, show <clears throat> I'll show them how many... No, 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 no. Almost. I'll show them how many boners the Joker can... No, it's not quite right. I'll show them how... No, I'll do it. Do ask me tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs> You were doing I'll pretty well there. You were. I'll show them how many boaters the Joker can pull. I'm doing like old Joker. It's not as good. <laughs> I mean, that's how Mark Hamill does it now. He's I old know, Joker I'm, now. I was trying to do like classic Joker. Joker here. <laughs> no, no, no. Young with classic Joker, with classic Joker, you got to have a little bit less rest. It. Right, He's right, got right. more of a of a sing song tone, That's right. and you have to have that transatlantic accent thing going on. <laughs> He's all teeth. He's, He's all, all teeth. teeth. He's yeah. all teeth. And you know what he is besides teeth? Boners. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> I'll show them how many jokers. The that deal. <laughs> How many jokers the boner can make? Is that what you're about to say? We have Jared Leto's Joker version. I'm too tired for that. <laughs> you're fine, Joker. <laughs> oh my god. Um. But, uh. Yeah, I mean, I'm, you know, I, I see these characters as sort of like. <laughs> they're archetypes, you know. They're they're, mm -hmm. they're essentially a pantheon, and pantheons always change with every. Uh, I well, mean, yeah, but there's there's a limit to how far you can change a character before it ceases to be I guess the character true. anymore. Yeah. Like, I mean... like at what point do you take like like the core um the core traits of the comic book Joker uh, across like whatever 80 odd years that he's existed um, like the core 
What, Jonas? Nothing. I'm just thinking of like shit posty stuff to say, but go on. Go on. <laughs> Jonas? <laughs> I know where you live. Um, <laughs> are you trying to be irresponsible right now? No. Does the new movie no. have an alternate Batman too? No, Batman doesn't have any role whatsoever in these two Joker movies. Um, but the core things of the Joker, okay? You've got a guy who's got he green smiles. hair. He smiles. Yeah, he smiles a lot. He's got green hair and white skin. Like, very white skin. Yeah. Um, he dresses up in a suit that's usually purple. Sometimes it's another color, but it's usually purple. Um, he's uh, not a very nice person. <laughs> so, Beetlejuice is the Joker. I mean... I mean... I mean... I mean... Okay, but actually... Actually, I'm changing subjects. Actually... <laughs> You've successfully when? derailed him. Congratulations. When did all of the merchandise of Beetlejuice start deciding that his hair was completely green? Because I remember as a kid, uh, all the merch for Beetlejuice had him with, like, blonde or white hair. And the cartoon had him with blonde hair. Well and... The movie has him with blonde hair with a little bit of greenish mold growing in it, but not that much. Uh. I feel like within the past five years or so, someone in the merchandising department of Warner Brothers just flipped a switch and they're like, oh, his hair's green now. And like, I feel like everyone is trying to gaslight me into being like, no, it was always like that when I know it wasn't. <laughs> Soldiers came here looking for that princess. What's her name? Uh, that's a wrong franchise, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not just me, right? But it's not just me that's uh, thinking this about Beetlejuice's hair. I probably, honestly. Vlad Howell, who is a first time chatter, asks, Isn't it because of the musical? I don't think so. I feel like it predates the musical. Um. I, I mean, I remember it looking. I mean, I remember, I remember it looking kind of like dead grass green. Like I know, you know, my memory is probably skewed, but I feel like that was just a thing from the get go. So when I saw the green haired version, I just thought, okay, cool. You know, they're just they're just pushing the palette. Um, yeah, but like I said, it's a got a little bit of a green tinge in it. It's it's just not like it's not bright solid like hot topic scene kid green. Yeah. Oh. Maybe that's why, why hot topic. When they were selling all that Beetlejuice merchandise. Yeah, it could be. Silver Spotlight points out to you, Jonas. Dead grass ain't green though. You're not green. Arnimus the Fox Dragon says the cartoon was green, I believe. No, that is 100% incorrect. Ah, uh, look it up. <laughs> Hi. Oh. I'm kind of <sighs> curious, like, what's the longest time between sequels that are not reboots with the same actors playing the same roles, you know? Because... Mm. I mean, is that indie? Is it Ghostbusters? You know, what? what's the... Uh... What about... Um, how far apart were the two Tron movies? Uh, 82 and 2010, so... Um... <laughs> Almost 30 years. <laughs> 28 years. 28 years, yeah. So, the gap between Beetlejuice is longer. Well, um... <laughs> Frozen Empire... Uh, well, no, wait, no. Actually, no, no. Afterlife was, what, 2014? 2014? No. No, 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 2017. Um, what's that? And that was between 2017 and 84. That was 33 years, so that's... That's something. That's still less time than uh, than the Beetlejuice <laughs> sequels. Man. West has been stoted. Aw. Dodie West. <gasps> Dodie West. Totally. 
I'm supposed Hi. to say that. Hi, Skyler. <laughs> <laughs> God, look at him. He's wearing the dare shirt. Oh he's my like, gosh. he's like, what am I doing here? I'm not supposed to be here. <laughs> That don't stain off drugs. Oh man. I'm trying to think of a No, you know what? You know what, Rick? You should have replaced the D with a B. <laughs> no, not going for it. No. Mm -hmm. nah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I googled it and there's a reddit thread with the same question of same actor between movies because of course, and someone says, Nick Castle played Michael Myers in Halloween 78 and 18. 40 years. Okay. I mean, that's true. Huh? There, hmm, yeah, that's right, because the, the Halloween 2018 movie did have, that was only the second time that Nick Castle played Michael Myers because in Halloween 2, Michael Myers was played by my favorite name in all of Hollywood when it comes to stuntman. He was played by the one and only Dick Warlock. Mm. Nice. Which is uh, also my job description on my business cards. Alright, luck. <laughs> You know, I'm a little tired of Zelda just, like, recycling plot points <laughs> from every single other past Zelda game. <laughs> <laughs> but that's no. what they have to do. It's Zelda. It's their yeah. only thing. They're, they're not allowed to do anything, you know, new. <laughs> I mean... No, I the last like... time they did that, people bitched because it wasn't the exact same as every other Zelda well, what, that exists. Which game which game are you referring to? Oh, Breath of the Wilds. Oh, really? Even, do... even that, you know, even that recycled a lot. <laughs> but everything about it that was different got bitched about because it wasn't Zelda enough. I loved everything that was new about Breath of the Wild. Alright, fine, fine. I, I loved Breath of the Wild. That's why I was able uh, to finish it. <laughs> it was amazing. Like... <laughs> Like, I do not have a great track record of finishing Zelda games, but Breath of the Wild was great. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, fans just... Here's... What is your new D&D &D character's name? Oh, it's Dick Warlock. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> that was the joke. No, yeah. that's that's not the name. That's the subclass. <laughs> Dick Warlock. It's the uh, the warlock uh, pact of dick. Um, do I want to know? What if it's both the subclass and the name? I mean, don't both. let me tell you. Don't let me tell you how to play with your dick, warlock. All right, look. <laughs> See, Joe, yes, I goes. can't. I can't think of you saying that anymore without thinking <laughs> you in that one outfit. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I was just thinking that. I've sullied it. Oh no, <laughs> Jonas has gone too far. It's like what once was punitive has now become hot and punitive. <laughs> <laughs> so for Spotlight asks, what about Boo Warlock? I mean... Hit Warlock? I mean... Hip Warlock? That's, uh, that's Rick's job. <laughs> no match against my pelvic paladin. I, I don't know. I, I, what am I? What am I mm. yeah, no, no, I no, don't no, know, Jonas. Let's, let's just no. Can we let, have that one stricken. For... No, let's explore that concept some more. Let's explore my <laughs> pe my pelvic paladin. Pelvic paladin versus hip warlock. Oh. <laughs> I want that angler fish. <laughs> what are you what are you giggling about, Ray? You giggler. This stream. <laughs> you, There's a stream face. going on, by the way. Nuh uh. <laughs> no, there isn't. 
This is our podcast. I'm actually working on commission. <laughs> Yeah, well, after this, I'm probably returning to Silent Hill again. I may not be joining it in that. I'm kind of... I'm kind of, you kind of nope, contractually obligated. Oh. <laughs> Need to read the fine print. Well, shit. The fine print says, eek, eek, squeak, squeak. Joke's done, you, Stoker. I can't read. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, joke's on you. I can't write. Oh, yeah? Well, joke's on you. Words aren't real. Oh yeah, well, jokes on you. You're not real. Uh, fades away. <laughs> well, there goes disconnects uh, for the call. There how's goes nobody the comic? <laughs> yeah, how's nobody doing in the chat tonight? Oh wait, there's no chat. <laughs> Chat's also not real. Exactly. Sorry, chat. You heard the bat. He's where it's at. Tacos. Tacos? Tacos. Taco. Taco yeah. yeah. Give me some of them tacos. Taco. Taco. Yeah. Oh, that give means me, give me, give me, give me some of them tacos. For about 12 minutes. No, wait. It's Taco Roost. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I refuse to participate. Darn it. Taco. Oh, okay. in a bookshelf. What? Taco in a bookshelf. Horse oh, in, in a bookcase. Book book taco in a bookcase. You can have tacos anytime. Boxer, <laughs> why did you bump me? I didn't say anything. I mean, yeah, that's well, reason enough. Boxer has abused his bopping privileges for so long. Now you should just expect it. That's true. Boxer a, a serial bopper. Horse in a bookcase. What is your wisdom? <laughs> that is a good wisdom. You know the <laughs> thing that got me about that guy is like the the, the the upset, aggrieved look the horse has. Like, <laughs> I mean, wouldn't you have a look like that if you were stuck in a bookcase? <laughs> All right. I am going uh, AFK just for a moment to get some more water and freshen up before um, the end of this stream and the beginning of mine. So um, all of y'all behave yourselves while I'm gone, or else don't. I'm not your mom. Do whatever the fuck you want. Mm -hmm. All right. Come here, Skyler. <laughs> Aww. He's a doty magody. He is the stody McGoat. E. The goated stoat. The stoat with a goat. Is there a... <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I don't know what he's doing with a goat, but he's probably got one. I mean... I can, no. Uh... No, Boxer. I am glued to the stoat. <laughs> oh. Really? Let's test that theory. In 40 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, these rocks can't be Skyrimmed. <laughs> Are you sure? You just need the spoder. I know. There's, there's <laughs> nothing <laughs> up there to go go to. <laughs> It's spoderific. Why are you trying to attack him? <laughs> <laughs> that that doesn't seem to be working. <laughs> no. <laughs> Your glue didn't hold. I'm sorry, Ray. Said you can always try again. The longest gap for television between the same character is William Russell as Ian Chesterton in Doctor Who, over 57-year oh gap between appearances. Yeah, that was like the last time he, uh, I mean, I think he, he like passed away right after that one, that one cameo. Sucks.
Uh, I'll catch a whale one of these days. What? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I've caught a few sharks <laughs> and uh, some uh, tunas and swordfish. Oh. But no whales yet. Alas. Are there no secrets behind waterfalls in this game? Zero out of ten. God damn there it. Were, Nintendo, I mean, you included so waterfalls. There must be something behind them. That's like the law. Every single waterfall in a game should have a secret behind it. Listen, y'all, don't go chasing waterfalls. Should we stick to the rivers and the lakes that we're used to? Make a game that yeah. is about exploring behind waterfalls. In fact. Also, uh, Rick, uh, West Eraserhead form when? <laughs> <laughs> Great. No. I'm too bad, Stoker. <laughs> Band Stoker's Dracula. Band Stoker's Dracula. <laughs> I'm trying to imagine what your Dracula production would be like. Uh, I mean, I'll, okay, I'll so... a lot more tits than showed up in the original. How do I jail that Stoker was already for that few, one? So. I mean, listen, listen. There were already a lot of tits in the 1993 Dracula movie. It was one of the best things about it. That's um, what I was saying. <laughs> I, counted, I, I counted at least eight of them. Um, not on the same character. But... <laughs> oh, that's, unfor that's unfortunate, but, you know... <clears throat> Um, no, like, if, if I were to make a version of Dracula, um, and budget wasn't an issue, um, first of all, it would be way more faithful to the book than any version that's been done previously. Hmm. Um, but it would also included, uh, it would also have included, um, homages to some of the other versions. Like, there'd be a couple of nods and winks to the Lugosi version, and a couple of nods and winks to the Christopher Lee version, and then Gary Oldman's Dracula would show up out of nowhere because he's in every movie, apparently. Yeah, and, go, uh, what uh, if Gary Oldman's Dracula was in every movie? What if? <laughs> uh, good times. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Dearly Melodic says, and when I mean kill Stoker, I mean like that one movie clip where a guy grabs a vampire in bat form mid-flight and shoots it at point blank with a musket. <laughs> that movie is called Waxworks, and it is awesome. <laughs> Waxworks is very good. If you haven't seen it, please uh, see it. Please do yourself a favor and go watch it. <laughs> Hugh asks, Oh, Stoker, have you seen the video of the monsters unleashed at Universal Studios from the new land? They showcase the animatronics from the monsters and they look amazing. Yes, I have seen that. And yes, they do look amazing. Holy shit. I can't wait. <laughs> it's a Jonas. Oh, I'm Miller. It's a Miller. What's the bird word? Oh, um, here, let me just... Yeah, they already got you in chat, Melodic. It's called Waxworks. It's, uh, it's a very silly movie. It's, yeah. um... The bird Miller, word of today... Boxer suggested that you get an eraser head baby Indiana? form. No. I already suggested that. <laughs> Miller as the eraser head baby. No. <laughs> Why is Miller the eraser? <laughs> well, Miller is baby, so... Yeah, Miller's baby. Steam, why are you sending me notifications for things I've already responded to? Steam's a chungus. That is it's accurate. It's a chungus among us? Is the among us a chungus? Steam is in fact a chungus. <laughs> is it a big chungus? Uh, it is pretty chunky. Mmm. Obnoxiously so some days. Mm. We all uh, do love a chunky chungus, don't we? 
Ray, you are now as far away from stout thighs as you can be. Well, uh, I my cry. condolences. No, he could be further away. I mean, after all, if Rich weren't Rich, Rich. Rich? Your name Rich is Rich now. Rich Griffith? Rich Griffith. <laughs> oh, he made Hitch Pitch? The comic about the, the pitches? The, 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 the hitches? That's exactly what he did, Stoker. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. And then, and then, and then, H and Pitch Cub? Uh huh. And, and. Fuck, I'm gonna be going into my stream with this level of <laughs> unhingery. This level of, of stokiness. Oh. This level of stokeriness. Yeah. This stoke -curiness. Stoke curiosity. Yeah. Stochacity. The stochacity of this bitch. A, stochast a stochastic distribution of memes and nude furries. Mm -hmm. What was that last one again? Mm -hmm. Penis. It's funny because it's genitals. Did you ever see that one Saturday Night Live skit that was set at the, the, the nude beach and like all it was practically in the entire script was them just saying penis over and over and over again just wow. like fitting it into every conversation every line it's like hey Todd been a long time since I've seen your penis your penis God. is looking great today and then the sketch ends with one of them grabbing a guitar and they're just like penis 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 <laughs> it's like that sounds like about right eighth grade did, you, for did, me. did you see that one <laughs> no do I want so, to Probably the not. reason why it exists, the reason why it exists is because uh, the network literally decided that, like, that very week that they were going to uh, allow them to say penis on the channel now and remove it from the list of banned words, so they just wrote a script where they say it, like, 800 times. <laughs> and one of the writers on that script was fucking Conan O'Brien. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> huh. Taiji Hennessy night. says, you know what, if Stoke will, uh, showed up to my school wearing a dare crop top, I might have paid more attention. <laughs> Especially if that was all he was wearing? Mm-hmm. Hey Alright, so, uh, maybe Rick's rest stream has ended. May or may not do VR tonight. Now, hold on, Ty. Yeah. There was a hot lion guy who came to school wearing the crop top with dare on it. That's right. And he also had no pants on. Yeah. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah, I like the stoat better. No, That's valid, good. but... <laughs> I mean, the stoat has, like, Don't put like your hands more... on drugs. Put your hands on these hips. <laughs> I mean, yeah, those hips are my anti-drug. Anyway, you say you're ending your stream, Rick. Who are you gonna raid? Uh, I'm not sure yet. Mm. Maybe slush. Hmm. We could slush going? raid Sylvie. We could raid Duper. We could raid CD. We could. Oh, we haven't slush. raided Duper in a while. You Duper know, is doing um... a marathon stream right now. He just crossed <laughs> twelve hours. Oh damn! But That's you depressing. know, you know, though, you know, um, <laughs> there is someone who literally not just. Live, though. Uh, no, yeah. no, there is someone who just started uh, the live stream. Like, literally just clicked the stream start button. Um, just now? Just this second? Just, just now, just now, within, like, the uh, the past uh, the past couple of seconds. Uh, so <laughs> I'm saying that's, that's what an a coincidence. option. That is an do option. I need to get the, do I need I to mean... get the paperwork together to get us to have a, like, Twitch uh, stream team? This is the <laughs> only 100% chance that we have of uh, not running across a streamer who's just now quitting. So it's true. <laughs> That's true. That's Are you true. Sure? That's Are you sure? Uh, I'm pretty sure I can like... find someone else who's just starting. <laughs> well, it's too late. Rick already started it, so uh, too bad. Good night. 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 Good night.